We're at the Minneapolis Sportsman Show looking at a lot of the cool things, and that brought us over to the Goal Zero booth. We're going to be looking at some solar recharging kits, and we've got Lisa here to tell us more about that. I'm ready to show you some of our handheld portable products in our gear lineup. We educate our users on solar on collect, store, use. So you collect the sun's energy with a solar panel, you store it in one of our battery packs, and then you use the battery pack to charge your gear. Some of our bigger panels, you can power directly from them, but that collect store use method is a really great way to keep your stuff going even when you're out. So the two products that I want to show you first off, we have our Guide 10 kit right here and our Switch 10 kit. They're similar capacity, but I really want to highlight some of the differences in the battery technology for you guys. This one right here is our Switch 10. It's a lithium ion battery, so it's super lightweight. It has a built-in USB tip right here. This is actually how you charge it. And there's a USB out on top. With this guy, at its 3,000 milliamp hours, you're looking at getting about one full charge on a cell phone. The cool thing about the Switch 10 is it comes with all these different attachments. So I can take my Switch 10 from a USB charger, then I can plug in my fan tip. It's really great if you're camping and it's totally stagnant air. You can get a little breeze going. The blades are soft so I can hit it and it's not going to hurt my hand. Similarly, we have a flashlight attachment. So this turns it into a 60 lumen flashlight. And then this right here is a micro USB cable, so if you have a Samsung phone, basically a non-Apple device, it'll charge up off of this. The kit also comes with our Nomad 7 solar panel. This is one of our best-selling solar panels and the smallest one that we carry. It's monocrystalline, which means it's some of the highest efficiency that you can get to date. And in the back here is all of the cables that you need to charge up the gear. So there's a USB port built right into the back, so all I would need to do is flip out the USB on my switch, plug it in, zip it up, and I'm good to go. The other really cool thing about all of our products, the handheld and the Yetis included, is our products allow for something called pass-through power. So what that means, say I'm out hiking or I'm out camping, I can actually have the switch plugged into the back of my solar panel, my phone or my device plugged into my switch, and I can be charging it all from the panel at the same time. Not to mention they're super rugged and super durable. So I can bang it around, it's not gonna break the crystal and it'll still work. So like I said, Switch 10 charges up from USB, so I can plug it into my wall adapter that came with my phone, I can plug it into a cell or a, a laptop, or I can charge it up off of solar. The other one I wanna show you that's similar in capacity right here is our Guide 10. Our Guide 10 Plus has the same built-in USB port for charging phones, similar to the Switch, but the really cool thing is it has pop-out batteries. So people that are still using a lot of nickel metal hydride batteries in their devices, whether it's a remote or a radio, a GPS unit, a headlamp, anything, you can use that in here, charge them up in the Guide 10, and then use them in your gear. Or, like I said, you could power through that USB port. Both of these guys charge up from the USB port in about two hours, and they'll also charge up in about two hours with those Nomad 7 solar panels. This is the smallest part of our gear. Uh, we've got everything that can power cell phones, tablets, laptops, up to running DSLR cameras. Really just depends on what you're looking to do. We have a kit that can meet your needs. So if there's anything else you guys are looking for, for more information, check out GoalZero.com.